Hey guys, this is Kirsten. This is my first impression segment on a traveler's planner kit by Sweet Bean Plans Designs. I'll link their shop down below. If you find anything you like or are curious, definitely check it out. The owner's super friendly. I've ordered several things from them, but yes, I'll be down there. walking you through this is their January kit they no longer sell it but this is sort of a, a example of what kind of comes in their kit so you have an idea as well as my opinion about you know I'm a cheapskate so do I think this is you know worth reinvesting in or a nice little treat for you so anyway I bought this off their Etsy shop it was $20 plus about $3.50 for shipping of course that varies depending on where you are so be on the lookout for that and kind of to go along with the shipping it takes a little bit of time if you're someone that's super super impatient I would say order it right away or just you know this is a later one. This is this is a worth the wait sort of thing. It took about a week or a half or more to get to me. I thought it was nice. I totally forgot about it to be honest and it was kind of a nice surprise to just you know be home and look at the mail and it's there and I get excited all over again. All right so enough about that. What does it contain? So it comes with five different um, die cuts. The theme is sort of like a zodiac, like a folksy zodiac sort of thing. So you have like this really awesome moon and sun and flower and this little hummingbird that's right there. So that's nice to decorate with or do what you do. Very cute and precious. <sighs> Next is this page marker or bookmark. It is on cardstock like the die cuts and it is celestial themed. Super cute. I can't wait to laminate it and make it a little bit more durable because it is so precious. I don't know if I'm going to write anything on it though but it gives you that option with this white cast over the like the galaxy design. Next you have these two thicker cardboard, I, wanna, I wouldn't say dashboards, what, what would I call these? Um, like almost journaling cards cardstock sayings but anyway back on point this one is absolutely gorgeous it says it doesn't have to make sense it just has to make you happy and I love that that is really cute I'm also gonna laminate it save it because it's just too precious next one here is another one of those moons with the zodiac around them and some paint strokes so again that folksy celestial feel so I'm loving it next you get two samplers of stickers so the first one here is like the decorative boxes you get you know four full-size Erin Condren ones these are slightly smaller let's see if I can even get it okay there you go then you get some blank ones here and a little sample of these day ones I like the font of date night and clean your house it's very playful and it goes perfectly with the pattern and color scheme and then the one after that and then the other pack is the practical stickers you get these labels for meals and tv shows cleaning um check boxes today headers more sample icons and what have you and these check lists and habit trackers so a nice little sample of products and something super random i like the way her heart check boxes look i don't know if it's just the proportion to color to heart or just i think it's a quirky heart shape but i really like it as opposed to other ones i don't know it's a small detail but i thought i'd mention it all right next we'll go into three separate pieces of vellum they're each gorgeous as can be let me have my trusty dusty field notes size notebook here to demonstrate some points right away you see that it's a little bit it's coming a little short. I'm gonna use this like a dashboard, a little decorative piece, and ideally I would like it a little bit longer so it sticks out or just aligns perfectly with a notebook. I think the issue here, and it's something small and totally understandable, they measured out the vellum exactly to the Field Notes notebook. So when they fold it in half, you lose some of the length here 
because you have to make up for the chunk of the paper and what have you. But it's still usable, still adorable, but if you are a little picky about that, that's something to keep in mind. But anyway, <laughs> moving on, this is the, the moon and the stars. Next is just the stars, but if you look really closely, I don't know how long you'll be able to see it, it has like a light background of that same paint strokes kind of design we saw on some other pieces. And then last piece of vellum is more zodiac. So for all you Zodiac lovers, this is gonna be a <laughs> wonderful kit. But anyway, has these moons and stars with the Zodiac constellations around it. And last but not least are these like thinner cardstock dashboards, very much themed and very much adorable lovely it, i think it's almost too cute this kit like it's so cute i don't know how i'm going to actually use it without feeling guilty that i'm going to ruin it but anyway that's one side and then here's the other i love like that glitter detailing on matte paper it's like the best of both worlds you don't have to deal with the mess of glitter but you still get kind of the glitzy effect i don't know is it just me but anyway last but not least i have this guy here get these like pinkish moons and just very layered and just awesome. I could just look at it and it's just a piece of paper. I could keep looking at it and it's awesome. And then on the other side, similar but almost reverse. I like that one better. It's super cool. So that is all you get for the Sweet Beans monthly planner. You get the option, I forgot to mention, to choose what size traveler's notebook this is going to fit in. I chose the field notes size, obviously, but you could choose the standard and A5. I don't know the exact sizes, but you get a choice in that. They're not all this tiny. So out of five, I would give this a solid four and a half. For, I'm just I'm a stickler okay this is $20 I think it's more than fair with the quality of you know products the cardstock the paper the, just the design of everything I think that is a fair price but I am gonna be a little bit nitpicky about the vellum just because I'm one of those type A personalities that if things don't line up it kind of bugs me so maybe a little bit longer on the horizontal side in the future that would be really cool but other than that it is absolutely a fun well curated little um collection so if you guys are interested in her shop and she does do these once a month so keep an eye out for that and hope you guys enjoy if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them down below and i'll get back to them as soon as possible bye